what is knowledge base so let's look into what we have seen an expert system and one of the important components of expert systems are knowledge base and interface system so let's look into detail what knowledge base and expert system is all about knowledge engineering is a process of building an expert system and this is called knowledge engineering the process of building expert systems are called knowledge engineering knowledge engineers acquire the knowledge from human experts or other sources and code in the expert system so what they will do is that they will get the knowledge which is necessary for working of the expert system in any domain they can get that from the experts or they can get it from sources like uh, encyclopedias etc and they can represent that knowledge in the knowledge base in a in a way which is very easy for the computer programs to understand so expert systems differ from the conventional computer programs in the following aspects expert systems uh, es development has roth and lenet has recommended the five stages in the development of expert system first is the identification that is the determining characteristics of the problem second is the conceptualization finding concepts to represent the knowledge and next is a formalization designing structures to organize knowledge implementation formulating the rules embodying the knowledge testing validating so these are the different development steps which every expert system will undergo while it is being formed so there is an identification that is what all problems will the expert system work on and this is a diagram for the working of an expert system so there is a communication module module and there is a knowledge base and there is an interface engine also there is a wor working memory and there is a graphic software and there's also user interface a so user interface will be used by the user to interfa inter interact with the knowledge expert system and to make changes to the knowledge base also you code in the information in the knowledge base also to add new information and to retrieve the information for a specific problem from the knowledge base so all this will be done by using the user base so what all do knowledge base consists of no, so knowledge base consists of the following components prior knowledge and domain specific knowledge and it includes knowledge that is derived from the senses so posteriori is a knowledge that is derived from the senses and these are the two components which make up the knowledge base knowledge can be represented in various forms such as rules semantic nets frames scripts object oriented others like object oriented language like kl crypt and conceptual graph and so on so these are the different ways in which the knowledge can be represented in the knowledge base so first you have an expert system and then you will have to collect the knowledge and then you will have to represent that knowledge using the various methods which are available so what is an interface engine interface engine in the field of artificial intelligence interface in is engine is a component of the system that applies log logical rules to the knowledge base to deduce new information the first interface engine were components of expert systems so the interface engine will have the logic or the algorithms which will be made for certain problems like if you give five symptoms to the interface engine so the program will be made such that it will take those five symptoms it will go into the knowledge base and it will come out with the disease or the possible disease a person could have so such kind of uh, working is possible through the programs written using the interface the so knowledge base stores facts about the world interface engine applies logical rules to knowledge base and deduce new knowledge this process would iterate is could trigger additional rules in the interface engine interface engine would primarily in one of the two modes either sp the specify rules or facts forward chaining and the backward chaining are the two reasoning ways in do which are used to work with the knowledge in the knowledge base so interface engine essentially works with reasoning and the two ways to get in the information from the knowledge base is by using a forward chaining method or by using a backward chaining method and from as and when the information in the knowledge base is worked out worked on new knowledge could also get derived and this new knowledge could again be stored in the knowledge base which could help or which could make the future problem solving process quicker and faster so for forward chaining starts with the knowledge known facts and asserts new facts backward chaining starts with the goals and works backward to determine what what facts must be asserted so that the goal can be achieved so in this way there's a difference between the forward chaining and the backward chaining 
So the interface engine can work in the following ways. One is a forward chaining, the other is a backward chaining and then next is the abduction and the fourth one is a reasoning under uncertainty. If you like this video please do subscribe, like and comment.